this is Kelly from Root Pursuit and today we're working on these cute little fabric I don't know what you would call them but they're little they're pieces of fabric and they've been stamped on and then I'm coloring them with markers so I have to say that I did get this idea from my junk journal my Facebook group junk journal tutorials and books and uh, the idea was by she posted in there Annalie journaling so Annalie this is her idea and she did a beautiful job she does she used watercolor so that is another option if you're if you're interested in trying that and yeah so I'm excited to to play around and do this today thank you Annalie she's from Sweden this uh what kind of fabric so basically any kind of white fabric you can use sheets pillowcases uh, i have some muslin here that you can get at the fabric store um, but you know any kind of linens uh, that's white or cream and it works pretty good so i'm going to go ahead i oh and i did have some crocheted pillowcase scraps so i'm going to use these too so that'll be a fun little little addition to it but uh, yeah, so it, it does look better when you, when you tear it. So I just give it a little snip and then I rip, I rip it and then decide uh, what, what size that I would like. So it can be rectangle, square, random sizes. Generally when you tear them, the, the fabric only tears two directions. Some, some only tear one direction, but that's pretty rare. Newer fabrics are only tearing in one direction. There's some sort of difference there. I'm not sure how they're making them that that happens, but yeah. So you rip it like that and then you've got little, little pieces. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rip and stamp a bunch and then we can decorate them together. Okay, so I ripped pieces and I've stamped pieces and I've discovered a couple of things. <laughs> First of all, uh, my tea dye ink, uh, it stamped good on paper, but not, not as good on the fabric. So I ended up switching to the black and thinking it was a color issue, but it definitely wasn't. It was a brand issue. So this one is like Sizzix brand ink and that just took the fabric much better. Some of the fabrics uh, also did much better than others. So the one on the left is much clearer than the one on the right. It's just a little blurry. So hard to see on camera, but in, in up close, it's quite significant. So yeah, the, the different fabrics, so you might want to test it on paper to see how it looks. Like for instance, this one, was a sunflower and it just did not although maybe it was because I had this string on there who knows <laughs> but uh no it didn't it didn't go very well on there so I kind of gave up on the sunflowers uh so yeah but we'll see we'll see it's still I mean it's like a little scrap it's still kind of fun so now the other part is coloring these some of the ones I, I ended up using the black and the brown, and then I I thought, oh, I'll just go with the third color, <laughs> the red stamp. So uh, I did have this number alphabet uh, stamper that I used. I have some little individual stamps here. So, you know, whatever you've got as far as numbers and letters, it will work just fine. So I think the next part is the coloring part. Uh, like I said, Annalie did the watercolors, but I'm going to do my brush marker. So I've got these markers and they've got a brush on the end. This one, uh, I used the blue, but it's, it came out looking green. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that, but uh, I also have highlighters in here. And I just tried to take some, so we're going to try some different, different colors. I have some light uh, colored, I don't know why I feel like 
the darker colors would just not work as well as like pastels. These are just Bic permanent markers, fine points. I've got some metallics. And these are like a little brush type tip. I mean, it's not called a brush, but it's it's just a bigger, wider tip. Did I say highlighters? I didn't really plan on using the that. And yeah, I had some brush markers, but they're in a box somewhere. And I don't know. All right, what should we do? Let's retry. We've got this one. This seems pretty basic. So I'd like to do the paint the flowers. I'm going to try this metallic, see what we got. These are kind of like daffodils. I don't know what color daffodils are. See, now that's opaque. So it just kind of, you lose, I'm not going to use any more of that because you really lose uh, the, the actual stamp image you're doing that is this bad oh this might have got left open i don't know what colors okay all right um let me try this like lime green for the stems see that's what i was wondering so this is supposed to be like a light lime but on the fabric it looks like a really good green so that's it i'm calling that one done and that i really like that that looks good even though i'm not crazy about the metallic we can probably find another color so i need a done pile all right we'll call this one done oh this one i didn't get a number on i'm just gonna do oh maybe i'll just do my red numbers there we go got some red numbers on there now we need we've got like a bird bath this is hard to decide what color should maybe like a blue? I'm gonna test these out and see. What color is this? Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. I'm being very gentle because this is almost, it's pretty close to opaque. We get to do the shadowy parts. Okay. Well, that's cute. Now I got my bird. I'm going to try the yellow for the bird. So I don't want it to be too dark. I could leave it like that, but I'm I'm gonna find a pink in here. What do we have? This old highlighter. Go back to our green. I'm gonna try this green this time. Just real subtle, very light touch. Okay, what do we think of that? Oh yeah, that's super cute. Whew. These are neat. Okay, we got sunflowers. Hmm, I got like an orange. I'm going with the yellow. For the sunflower. So we'll do an orange for the center, maybe. Even though it's brown in the center of a sunflower. And you probably want to make sure you're stuff is your ink stamps dry or as dry as you can get it. There we go.
And so far, I like the permanent marker, which is the really light green the best. That bleeds very nicely on there. And then I'm going to go back to my pink. What else do we need? Hmm. So I also have this peach, which I have a feeling is going to end up being brown. Okay. There. And I'm just going to color in those seed packs. And then a little along here. Okay. Now I'm happy with it. There we go. my green actually I see now there's more flowers in there And that, I'm calling that one done. Try not to do, overdo it, right? I have a, I, I have a tendency to overdo it. I'm going to try the orange this time. Yes. Okay, mm, this yellow. I'm not getting a real good yellow out of this. I'm just going brown. So, oh well, what can you do? That's all right. I really like that peach too. There's that one. Yeah, these are pretty easy. Oh, let's do butterfly. I got purple that I haven't gotten to use yet. Yeah, the permanent marker kind of has a nice bleed to it that works out pretty good. That's very pretty. Do a purple bird bath. good like that. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that. Okay, we got a different kind of butterfly. Try this blue.
We got a big one. Oh boy. Oh, it's supposed to go this way. Hanging plants. Okay, so here is the end result for that one. Man, these are looking really neat. So let's see here. Let me try this. Because I've got this tan. Ooh, that's perfect. I guess I could have made the wagon any color. Didn't have to necessarily be or the what do you call that? Wheelbarrow. <laughs> and this color is actually a lot like terracotta. So these will be like terracotta pots. Well, this one's kind of different. Let's do to do a blue ribbon, green stems, some leaves, and try this purple. There we go. See how I like it. Yep, I like it. <laughs> okay, well that was pretty, that was a lot of those. So let's just pull them all out here. I got my markers out of the way. And I'm sure that the watercolor adds really nice effect to it. So if you want to check out Annalise's video, I recommend that. And these are what we ended up with. So very fun. Oh yeah, I'm really happy with this and excited to use these in uh, some journals. So I hope you give this a try. This was very cool. And I just love the texture element of it being on fabrics. Well, if you're interested in seeing more videos, you can go ahead and subscribe. I also have an Etsy shop where I sell junk journal items, both physical and digital. So you can check those out. And the link is in the description. So as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.